Okay, so um, first one's bombs fell, then he's starting to keep a journal. Apparently this place wasn't intended to be used as a bunker, so supplies are kind of light. Uh, everyone's going a bit stair-crazy. Um, uh, this guy's uh, friends with uh, Dusty um, and is worried about him because he's not in the bunker with them. Uh, they, a couple of them start trying to make a, uh, video game. That's, uh, what that hollow tape was. It was a attempt at making a, uh, Pip-Boy game, but, uh, apparently, uh, they failed. Um. <laughs> they, uh, he, Jay starts, uh, going a little more stair crazy and just can't handle it anymore and he's like dude i've got to go um i'm he leaves uh to go try and find dusty and hopefully find uh people that they could trade with and get stuff back here and all that and break into the safe now nope nope there we go that's it Okay. Moving on. Dang it. <laughs> I swear I break more bobby pins on novice locks than I do anything else. Got it. Danny's terminal now. Okay. And looks like it's going to be the same sort of thing here. Hold on these for a moment. Oops. in a moment. Okay, so uh, Danny found some terminals in the lower levels and set them up in both uh, his and Jay's rooms. Um, apparently they had a couple kids with them. Uh, Danny also found uh, that there was a garage attached to the area, but um, it was collapsing. Uh, or looked very unstable, so he blocked it up and everything. Uh, after some time went by, they heard a loud noise. The garage had collapsed. And so they waited about a month. He went and checked and found uh, that there was a cave attached to the garage uh, that had now opened up, and so he was kind of using it as like his own little personal hideout place, and then uh, Jay takes off. Uh, he goes, checks his terminal, realizes that he went looking for Dusty, and was like, oh, I should have shown him the cave. Maybe that would have kept him around. And he's super sad after reading the terminal. Um, wasn't moved by the bombs dropping, wasn't moved about losing his home, but uh, was made super depressed about losing one of their own, and then they start hearing noises outside, uh, something scratching around, trying to break through the, uh, the entrance to get in, and so they all run off and go hide in the tunnels, uh, attached to the, uh, garage, and apparently there's supposed to be a key under the bed, yep, there it is, Danny's key. 
Um, so yeah, let's uh, poke on, dang it, Elvis, on down here a little bit more. Because I don't know if it's the locked door up there or if the uh, cave is down here. Okay, yeah. So, barred this door, locked the supply room door, which we've been in there, and uh, locked this door, so. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is a safe that was in the uh, garage. So let's uh, break into it here. Nice. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Master locks, expert locks, nothing. Got Novice it. locks, break my keys, or break my bobby pins every time. Hey, come on. Oop. Uh, what did I lock? <laughs> Come on. I can... Dang it! I think I'm supposed to be able to make it through here. Uh -huh. Dang it. Okay. And this just takes us back in. Hello. I could swear you could crouch jump. Am I just too big? What's going on here? Is that the barred door? Yeah. <laughs> Getting stuck on the roof. <laughs> Kick the door open. Tempted. Uh. I 
Unless I'm supposed to... No, he did say that he was going to try and block this area off. Elvis, give me a hand. <sighs> Whatever. Oop, that's not the right command. Okay. Nope. Yep. Okay. Vault one forty one. Eh. More computer terminals. Okay. Same thing. Holding on the text. Letting you read it. Read it to myself off camera. Okay. Be back in a moment. Okay, so finds a terminal in here, sets it up, starts continues doing his little journal. Uh, realizes that they're running out of food, so um, he makes a break for uh, the old section, the upper area. Goes into the uh, safe, the room that had all the ammo and stuff, and grabs some food. And got shot at by the turrets. Luckily, the door was blocking one of them, and the other turret just couldn't hit him for whatever reason. But uh, while down here, uh, he realizes that the door across the room is attached to a vault. Uh, he gets uh, one of the people in the vault to come out and talk to him and mentions that uh, he'll need to talk to the overseer. Uh, he's, of course, never heard of an overseer, doesn't know what an overseer could possibly be. Uh, next day, Overseer shows up, starts talking to them, decides to uh, bring them into the vault, uh, but uh, tells them that they need to take a goat test to figure out what their different uh, occupations will be. And, of course, the guy's like, what in the world's a goat test? Uh, he's imagining a uh, empty room with a single goat standing in it, uh, that he ends up having to wrestle or something crazy like that. Um, but he mentions that he leaves the key behind a filing cabinet in here. Uh, yep, there it is. But uh, before we go in there, I'm going to look around this area a little bit more, because I guess the uh, the kids room was uh, another part or maybe maybe that's it huh okay I thought there was uh, more down that way and we did lose Elvis <laughs> okay uh, 
it's saying we completed the quest. Ooh, more quests. Fine. What did that say? Find something. Find clues about Danny. Okay, where's the control? No, oh, there it is. Okay, let me check something real quick. <laughs> um, mod author did say that uh, you needed to make sure you had uh, captions on. So I'm just checking that. My captions are on. Jesus! <laughs> Anywhere a man can get a burger around here? Man, Elvis. I almost shot you. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this place got uh, taken out by mole rats digging through the walls and whatnot. Sweet. Just looking around. Okay, what the heck are those? Whatever. Elvis. Let's see if these guys had anything interesting. Nope. Okay. Moving onward. Ah, cool. <laughs> cool teddy. Ah, vault one forty one storage key. I'm guessing yep. What in the world is this? Looks cool. Ah, oh, I was hoping that pencil would fall. There we go. <laughs> uh. I'm curious. Hey, Elvis. What's up, man? You have anything to trade? Son, you can't say no in Acapulco. This isn't going to work. Yep. <laughs> I was hoping that I could uh, 
get him to wear it. Uh, it wouldn't work since uh, he's not a human. Let's read this. Gain access to the storage room. Okay. Be back.